know, earning your, you know. We know that in West Bengal, you know, people are questioning all of this because the product is remains very you know. So, in all of this, I'm still struggling, you know, and I would love any help, any reading material that you can give me that will help some of these questions that are in my mind. Uh, I'm coming around to believe that the free market, the so-called quote-unquote animal spirits are essential to innovation. That in fact, this increases in productivity takes place when something gets automated. That doesn't mean that people lose their jobs forever. They retrain, they find other jobs, etc. I find the kind of innovations that are that are that are coming out of the US today are seems to be celebrated about how the imagination of man can actually create something like the internet. You know, create an iPad, create you know, all these wonderful things that are in fact creating jobs. I mean as the internet expands in this country, jobs will get created by right? people. So and yet I cannot for a moment be a completely unbridled free market. I know that if you don't regulate the capitalists, they will take us all to the thing. And so they must be very strictly regulated. <coughs> and the antitrust regulation in the US at least is a very serious form of regulation. The US is suffering today because of deregulation. And I think that the moment they put that back into order, they will again have another. You're right, there will be another bubble. There will be another crisis and they will go through it, but they will come back. What it is, however, when I go to the US, I see, I see a country which, <coughs> as Warren Buffett says, has improved the standard of living by seven and a half in the last 70 years, you know, 70, 75 years. Seven and a half times the standard of living has gone I see freedom of every kind in that country. And what did I love Fidel Castro? You know, I don't believe that there is that kind of freedom in Cuba, you know. So, in answering this question, which is, how do you lift people out of poverty, give them a decent standard of living, and give them basic freedom? I'm finding it difficult to embrace Marxism, because the practice of it that I've seen around me, whether in China, I mentioned Mao, because, you know, I've worked a lot in China. And if you actually sit down with a Chinese young person and you get them to talk about, you know, <coughs> the great leap forward, the agricultural revolution and all of that, it's a lot. I mean, all said and done, we did kill 20 million of our own people. And they're in that close system. Not that they wanted to kill them, but just that the British unintentionally killed, you know, whatever, you know, three and a half uh, million people in the Bengal famine. You know, China also, a large number of people died because it never got to where it should have got. Whereas in this open system, you know, with all its imperfections, with all its difficulties, at least nobody is able to fool all the people on the time or fool themselves. But there's no, there's no, there is a, I feel there is some kind of a self-correcting <coughs> in, in, in keeping both the economy and the, the political system is open one. And that's what I sincerely am, but I'm happy to be corrected and I would love to read anything that would help me understand this better. You know.